Here you go. Hi, I'm Hans Rosling, and basically, professionally, I'm two things. I'm Professor of International Health at Karolinska Institute, and I'm Director of Gapminder Foundation. We are a startup, a non-profit startup, that tries to make statistical data about global change available in an enjoyable format on the internet. And, and what I was here to tell today was how the new digital uh, media is spreading across the world. And I had a very simple, straightforward message that what's needed before you can use digital media is electricity. And there are still one to two billion people waiting to get electricity. Now, once they have that in one form or the other, the first modern, modern technology they will use is the cell phone. The cell phone has penetrated in an amazing way out into rural parts of Africa. And it's not individually owned cell phone, it's an entrepreneur in a village who have one cell phone which they provide for service in the village. And they would pay according to how much they use it. And most people would text because that's the cheap way of doing it. The internet that we hoped so much of hasn't come that far. Internet has come to countries like Brazil, Egypt, Thailand, middle-income countries, but it hasn't gone into the low-income countries. And, and even in a country like South Africa, where, where, where the central hubs, economic hubs, have internet, most of the schools in South Africa hasn't access to, to the internet. So the cell phones are interesting. And uh, then you would think, many think that we should provide information through the cell phone. That's not how people use them. They use it for communication. In health, where I work, the most useful thing about cell phones is that poor people in a village can get cash when they need it for health service. Life is not like that, that you can get the cesarean section when you need that for delivering a child or antibiotics for a child that is sick. You must have the money. So if you need that, you can SMS, you can text your brother in the city who has a little money, tell about the situation, and he will send airtime back on the cell phone to the provider in the village and when they get that airtime from him within two to three minutes they'll give cash it's a, an extremely fast banking service that has appeared and and this is very functional also uh, young uh, entrepreneurs like a carpenter can use uh, the cell phone service in the village to make an agreement with the sawmill on how much uh, wood he needs and how what dimensions he needs of it for his next production of shares or tables or whatever he's making. And instead of going for one week to the sawmill then coming back, he can have agreed that and it will take him one, or one and a half day to go and fetch it. This is what we have seen and this is what, what studies indicate, that if we would like to reach the poor, we have to use this cell phone. But the poorest of the poor, the bottom billion, is not even covered by the cell phone. And this is the tragedy of this world, that whereas most of the world population is now converging into the same health situation, or more similar health situation, I would say, smaller families, higher education, we still have one million, one billion people left, almost the size of all the Western countries, which is not progressing. That's the drama of the world. Go to Gapminder's webpage, gapminder.org, and you can see this in animated statistics. Thank you very much. Yeah.